Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What to do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness, and welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, about an hour ago, Call of Duty, the Call of Duty YouTube channel, officially released the trailer for Absolute Zero, the second season of content. And so, today, I thought I would do my very first uh, trailer breakdown video. So, with that being said, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. But, here we go. Commencing system intrusion. I wonder if this is what the menu is gonna look like. So right here, the character model is pretty dope. So right here, what I'm seeing is I see this EMP grenade. It was kind of something that was already hinted at. Uh, we they put out a distorted image on Twitter when they were first uh, releasing the character, but it seems like just some sort of EMP Baby grenade. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, it's pretty simple and it's not something that I necessarily like think is gonna be game breaking or gonna be even that effective. But if it's an easy way to eliminate things like torch shields and stuff like that, it'll definitely be a big thing for, you know, the COD pros and things like that. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Enemy sentry deleted. <clears throat> so here we take our first look at hijacked. And all in all, guys, this thing looks beautiful. It doesn't even kind of look like a piece of blackout for some reason. Um, we have we have a first look at the Arab. Our first, uh, the first, the first time I saw this Arab, I thought the Humvee. It looks, it's just a Humvee. Like when I first thought it, or saw thought about what it would look like and things like that, I thought it would be like. I don't know, a little bit different, but it's definitely one of the most useful vehicles from what I can see. The uh, the the driver's seat seems pretty open, so uh, I don't think it's going to be that broken. I think it's going to be pretty dope. Here we take a look at the first SMG that's coming to the game that you're going to be able to unlock. And it seems like it's kind of like a medium firing. Like, we already had so many fast firing SMGs in the game, so this is probably going to hit a little bit harder but have a like a slower fire rate that could prove for it to be pretty useful and pretty great to be honest the ar seems to be a pretty like you know moderate type of uh firing rate as well kind of like a medium fire rate kind of kind of on the the level of like the kn or the rampart so that's pretty cool hopefully it puts out as much damage as well but hold on i rolled that back so we can take a look at these. These look like two different variants for the Paladin and the uh, VAPR. So that's going to be pretty cool, I, I, I guess. I'm not sure why they... Oh, that skull on the VAPR is pretty dope. The one right behind the iron sights. Yeah, I see it right here with the ruby eyes. That's pretty dope. Now, I'm wondering... I, I guess you get these immediately as you unlock them because... Now... Hold on, we roll back. We see that she's kind of in this Roman gear. She's got kind of like that red cape going. That's pretty dope. That's our first look at one of the newer skins. Probably an epic skin. That's just great, to be honest. That looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to unlock that. Because not only do we unlock it for the actual multiplayer, but this stuff comes to Blackout, too. So I'm more excited for what it would look like in Blackout than anything else. I think that's so cool. That, yeah, that variant for the Paladin looks amazing. Here you go. We're taking a look at some of the other ones. That's the Ajax skin. That's pretty dope. I think I'm looking at another variant. I think that might be for the ABR. I'm not positive. It's It looks like a little airplane underneath the gun. But that Ajax skin kind of goes with his Praetorian skin, and that's pretty dope. I hope that's an update to the Praetorian skin. Look at that camo. If you guys see the camo on the top right... That's a new reactive camo, so that thing looks sexy. Not sure what this camo is in the bottom right, but uh... Oh, that's another reactive camo. So they're really coming hard with the reactive camos in this. I speak online. Commencing system intrusion. Okay, there, there we go, guys. I mentioned it the other day when I was talking about the specialist characters, and I said, 
When I think of a hacker character, and when I think of counteractive measures, I think of Sombra. So there we see her pulling out her pamphlet, taking a little bit of time. She's very vulnerable, but she pulled out her pamphlet. Here, I'll roll, roll it back a little bit. She pulls out her pamphlet, and she starts hacking the, uh, the enemy. I don't know if those are enemies that she can hack up here, I mean down here, if she can hack the, the people themselves, uh, or just the item up here, but she was definitely able to take out her thing, I think it's called Ice Pick, the ability is called Ice Pick, and she was able to pull this out and blow up the, um, the what is it, the Mantis in front of her, so that's pretty cool. All in all... I am very impressed at the first actual content. I don't really feel like the first operation was a ton of content. I feel like it was kind of like, a, okay, these are the things we put together. This wasn't our original idea. We just kind of put this together. Now we've had a while to take a look at it. We've had a while to see what we could do, see how we could improve. And now here you guys go, a fully fleshed out actual stream of content. Um, and I, I'm, I'm very proud of them, of the boys at Treyarch, and I'm very, I, I'm excited for all this stuff, uh, based on the fact that, like, I'm not, I'm not very excited about the cosmetics that come to the characters, like, I think that they're cool, but like I said, I spend most of my time looking at my hands, so it's not that big a deal, but, um, when it comes to the weapon camos, when it comes to the character abilities and how it's gonna work inside of multiplayer games, I'm super excited for that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this trailer breakdown. If you guys did, you guys can leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. Thank you guys for checking this video out and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.